everyone. Today we are going to look at the news and newspapers database from ProQuest and find out how you're going to use that database to find some sources for your assignments. You can see we're here at the QVCC homepage and we need to get to the library. So up at the top we've gone to student resources. We're going to scroll down until we see library and click on that. Here on our library homepage we're going to make sure we take note of how to contact our librarians and the hours in which you can contact them. And then we're going to look to the right under find articles to get to our databases. So since we know the name of our database, we can go ahead and look through the A to Z list and find N. Go ahead and click on that and that takes us directly to news and newspapers. The first one is our ProQuest, so we'll click on that database. And this is our search screen. You can see it has an advanced search option here, as well as an option that will allow you to look up your sources based on which publication they show up in. For today though, we're just going to enter our search term in our search bar and that search brings up over 145,000 results. Obviously we need to start narrowing this down a little bit. So directly under the number of results we have there are ways which we can start to narrow down our options. A good way to narrow down for this particular search is by entering a date range. So we click on enter date range and then we can either type in or we can use this box to go ahead and choose the dates that we're looking at. Right now we're going to leave the two option blank but there may be some instances where that could be helpful to you. We're going to click update and you can see that brings us down to 37,000 results. We also say just want to look at newspapers and so now we're down to 19,000 results and you can continue to look down this left hand side and use any of these boxes to go ahead and continue narrowing your search down. For now though let's just go ahead and look at this first search result and you can see here at the top here is our title directly under that is all of the publication information including the authors where this article has shown up who the publishers were and maybe most importantly here's our date we have our full text right here and within that full text the database has already highlighted where our search term shows up in this article it shows up a lot but if you found an article where it's not going to show up as frequently this is a really quick and easy way to find the section that you're looking for under suggested sources this is a great way to find one article that you really enjoy and use that to find other articles that also might meet your needs. Lastly, we just want to make sure we're getting our citation information. So up there at the top, we clicked on cite and that takes us directly to our citation. Here are all the options that you have as far as citations go for this database. Just remember that we call these starter citations. So double check that this is actually conforming to your citation standards. We'll go ahead and copy that and now we can paste that directly into our works cited page. We also want to make sure that we're saving this information so that we can get to it later. The two best options for this are save as PDF and to email it to yourself. When you're emailing that item to yourself, it will actually give you an option to include that bibliographic citation at the end of your email. So now not only have you saved your text so you can get back to it later, but you've also saved your citation in a different place. So in case you lose the citation that you copied, and pasted, you have it as part of this email. If you have any additional questions about this database or any of the other databases or services that the library offers, please feel free to contact us. Our reference librarians are more than happy to help answer any questions that you have. Mm -hmm.